So I know uh, Reddit's currently blowing up about uh, a couple of video game related things with uh, new uh, video games from Bioware and Square Onyx. And I just want to mention a couple of those and I won't do too much gamery shit about it. It has more to do with the whole social justice angle. So first and foremost is this guy uh, Manveer Air. Manveer Hare, I don't know how to say his name, but he's a, a, a head designer of the new Mass Effect game, Mass Effect 4 Andromeda or something. And this dude is a full-blown racist. I know I yell and scream racism at a, a lot of um, people on this channel who were buzzwordy racist or ignorantly racist or progressively racist. This guy is racist racist. If you were to autocorrect every instance of the word white on his Twitter with black, like if you replaced white with black, you would think he was a Grand Wizard of the KKK. He is that much of a racist. Tremendously so. And he's apparently a big designer at Bioware currently. So, but this is good news. If you don't care that much about Mass Effect. If you're a huge Mass Effect fanboy, I'm sorry. Um, but as somebody who isn't, and hasn't really cared all that much about Bioware to begin with, and hasn't really had a positive opinion of them for several years. This is a good thing. Because Bioware is currently owned by EA. And EA is a big, evil corporation that only gives a shit about one color, and that's green. And this is going to hurt their bottom line. Because there is... No money in pandering to progressive social justice warriors. None. These people are not a cohesive market share that you can target. They aren't a demographic that you can get money from. Because these people hate everything. And they cannot be pleased. And so when you're essentially trying to get the attention of, or I guess have make your games one of these kinds of people who tried to turn the word gamer definition a person who plays video games for fun into a pejorative slur who calls us all racists and sexists and someone who's just openly racist in general you're trying t to market to any of these kinds of people or to have these people run Gamers don't care. Whether they're conservative or liberal, they're not social justice warriors. They're not part of the offended parade. They just want to like what they want to like, and they're in general usually very pro-freedom of expression and pro-freedom of the artist. So you can't have these angry butthurt fucks running shit, and you can't have these angry butt for, butthurt fucks in your target demographic to buy shit. You can't please them. They only The only thing that makes them more angry than being ignored when you don't meet their, their defa um, demands in the face of it, oh, you're not diverse enough, the only thing worse than that is trying to please them because you'll never do good enough. The only thing that they get mad about more mad about that there than if there's like no black people, for instance, on your show, is if you have black people on your show. Because they'll go, the way you're portraying this black person is bad because of this, this, and that, and the other thing. And then the next social justice warrior down the line will be mad for completely different reasons. Sometimes completely counter to the first social justice warrior whose opinion you ask. These people only want to be mad and only want to boycott and only want to throw fits. What they don't do is put a ducket in the bucket. They don't buy things. There's no money in pandering to them. There's no money in pleasing them. And they, and their greatest pundits like Anita Sarkeesian have had no shown effect on who buys shit. Because what they're selling is offense. They're not selling games. They're not games reviewers they're feminist icons or social justice icons. You can't please these people. Take, for instance, what happened with the Square Onyx title. Uh, um, what is it called? Uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided, right? They've already had this huge debacle happen with their pre-order campaign. People are already mad and wary. So they got this advertisement and it says, Og Lives Matter on, on a sign in like a crowd on the advertisement. Don't do that. Don't do that, because who's mad? It ain't white people. It ain't cops or fucking conservatives. Who's mad? 
BLM people, don't appropriate our culture, don't acknowledge us, how fucking dare you, how dare you trivialize our struggle. You'd think that by saying, hey look, we're trying to represent you in video games like you said you want, no, 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 doesn't work. It has the exact opposite of the intended effect. It makes them view you more negatively to acknowledge them than if you were to ignore them. This shit will not work, okay? And we are going to see these big corporations. One is from Japan, who doesn't give a fuck. The other is a subsidiary of EA, who doesn't give a fuck. Both of them just want to make money, and they're going to learn a lesson from this. Hopefully. Because this shit has come up multiple times in different ways over the past couple of years. And people are still trying this whole, let's uh, fucking target the, seat of the Tumblr crowd and shit. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. The fact of the matter is gamers remain the most diverse consumer base in the world. Even if you start trying to subdivide them into sports games, into first-person shooters, into RPGs, at the end of the day, you're still seeing an incredibly diverse consumer base. And... It's never been a consumer base that wanted to be pandered to, and it's never been a conservative base that wanted to be patronized, and it's never a, cons a consumer base that's ever wanted to be insulted. And in order to try to target these progressive social justice warriors who don't fucking buy games really to begin with, and if they do, don't buy games based on their politics... And I stand by that, even though it's anecdotal or whatever. Uh, you will never fucking prove it otherwise, because it's not otherwise. <clears throat> you will never make money trying to pander to them. Ever. Ever. You can make Zootopia, but you can't make furry slash other kin slash fucking we love you yif people. They don't want to be pandered to. Even if you are sort of like acknowledging that this, these people are, are part of, a major part of your user base, they don't want you to fucking be in their face about it. They just want you to make a product that they would like. But when you fucking cut to the quick, shit gets sloppy rather than precise. This shit does not work. You can't pander to these people. And honestly, when it comes to gamers in general, you can't pander. It's too disingenuous. It's too obvious. So there's no way that this kind of shit will fly with the community. You're seeing Reddit explode right now about this racist asshole. And I don't know how many gamers give a shit about All Lives Matter beyond going like, ah, that's fucking clumsy and stupid. Don't do that. Nobody else who's going to pay you money for your product cares. However, these social justice warriors will not appreciate it. They will, in fact, hate you for it. Thanks for watching.